Hi, are you all right? Happy Friday. So the girls have got the boyfriends come around for dinner tonight. So I'm going to make something in one pot. So it's a one pot Thai chicken curry or Thai chicken noodle thing. But it's one pot. That's all you need. One big pan. Right, so we've got one kilo of chicken thighs and one kilo of drumsticks. We're going to brown them. Right, now in a dry pan, we're going to brown that skin. You'll have to do it in batches. While your chicken's browning away, finely chop one large onion. I'm using the mini blender. If you have any gadget in the kitchen, buy one of these mini blenders because they save you so much time and they're just really handy. I'll pop a link on above if anybody is struggling to get one because I have loads of people asking where do you get it. So I'll pop a link on, but get that chopped. Now your chicken's browned, but not cooked. Set it aside. Now, I know that I don't have to tell everyone who's been following me for ages to wash your hands after you've handled raw chicken, but there will be somebody that says, she's never washed her hands, she's never said so. You're grown adults, you don't need told to wash your hands after you've cooked chicken. Now don't throw this grease away, because fat is flavour. Add your chopped onion to all that lovely gubbins in the pan. Right, those onions have been frying off for about two or three minutes. I'm going to put in two teaspoons of turmeric. And I've got some Thai green curry paste. Now you need about 180 to 200 grams. You can get it in all the supermarkets. Now you must get paste, not sauce. You need to get the paste. This has got all the spices and lovely ingredients all ground down so you don't have to but it has to be paste and we just want to cook that off for another two or three minutes it'll smell gorgeous in no time going with one chicken stock pot just look at that colour it looks gorgeous okay we're going to go in with three tins of coconut milk and then one tin of water Sometimes coconut milk splits, that's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Now just bring it up to the boil. I've got 200 grams of green beans, they're going in. Now I don't cut off that little curly bit. I cut the stalk off, but I just don't see the point of cutting that off, so I just leave it on. You do you. My girls love Thai curries and I'm always trying to think of different ways of making them and changing them up. So this is almost boiling. Pop your chicken back in. If this is too much for you, just half or quarter the recipe. Let some of this skin poke out the top so it goes nice and golden and crisp. Once it starts to bubble, pop it in a 200 oven for one hour. That's literally it. Leave it in the oven for an hour. I'm going to do some rice noodles with it because you don't even have to cook them. You just put hot water on and then tea's ready. And we'll, we'll enjoy it. If it's too much for you, half the ingredients. It's not a bother. It comes out just as good. But look, we'll be eating it off our knees because my kitchen table is now my office. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much, everyone who's bought a book, for all your lovely comments. I saw, you've no idea how much I appreciate it. It's really lovely. I'm so pleased because I do these and I don't know if anyone's going to buy them, if it's going to be worth my while, but you do. Thank you so much. Thanks for all your lovely com comments. I do read them. I can't always reply to them because sometimes I lose them because I think... I'll be, I'll be having my tea or I'll be doing something, going in the shower and I'll think I'll reply to that in a minute. Well, I forget because brain fog galore um, and I forget and then I lose it amongst everybody else's comments. But be rest assured, I read them all. I read all the comments and then they're all so lovely. So thank you. I do still have a few of these books left. I'll put a link on at the top along with the little, what's it called, mini blender. I'll put that on as well. But yeah overwhelmed absolutely chuffed to bits thank you because northern nick wouldn't be here if you weren't here thanks so much let's have an hour let's see right this is ready 
You'll see it's loose, the sauce is loose. That's how Thai curry is meant to be. I'm gonna put some fresh spinach in. Just load it in and stir it up and it'll just disintegrate, it'll disappear. It wilts down so quick. Just get a spoon and push it in. There's about 200 grams of spinach in there. Now it looks delicious, but you do need to taste your sauce. And it is runny, it's supposed to be. Thai curries are more brothy, but if you do want it thicker, you can always use a bit of corn flour, but don't forget you put noodles in with this as well. Oh, that's delicious, that is so tasty. <laughs> that is really good, my girls and the boyfriends and my husband are gonna absolutely devour this. So I'll just put some noodles on, literally just cover them with hot water, or you could, if you had room, put them in your pan and they would go soft in, the, in all this sauce. That would be good as well. It would also thicken the sauce a little bit with the starch from the noodle. Rice noodles, usually one square per portion and all you do is cover them in hot water from the kettle and leave them for two to three minutes. When they're ready, just fish them out. Drain that water off into your bowl. And just spoon it on. Now that looks amazing. A bit of parsley over the top if you want. Not really necessary. I've just got some. That's Duchess grumbling. I can't wait to tuck in. Can't wait to try this. Can't wait to try this. Smells amazing. Just got some of these little Thai crackers. Just in Tesco's, look at these lovely noodles, soaking up all of that sauce. Can't get them up. Can't wait to try this, look at these lovely noodles, soaking up all of that sauce. My hair's in the way. I'm dribbling it on my chin. Let's taste this chicken. Nicely cooked. Oh, that's good. That's good. This is why you needed to colour the skin, just because it looks better. And if you want to eat the skin, it's nicer when it's browned. Now, if you want something for your tea that is extraordinarily, superbly, scrumptiously tasty, give this a go because it's absolutely banging. That's Duchess snoring, not me hyperventilating. Oh, that is so good. And the good thing with a chicken thigh and a chicken drumstick is that it reheats, it's not gonna dry out like a, like a breast would, and it's cheap. So if you're cooking for a few fork, so economical. But that's good, I'm gonna enjoy this. Enjoy whatever you're having for your tea, but definitely give this a go, it's amazing. Beautiful. See you soon, have a great day. If you want to buy my book, the link's above. Bye.